Hey guys, a couple weeks ago I bought the uh, DJI Spark drone and I've been afraid of losing it so I just purchased a Marco Polo to put on there in case it flies away to help me find it. Um, I searched everywhere on YouTube, couldn't find any pictures or examples of it being mounted on a DJI Spark so I wanted to do a quick review and show m maybe how I'm going to mount it and how this thing works. So here's the uh, little receiver. I bought this kit off of eBay. Um, the receiver is about the size of two quarters side by side, and it's really lightweight. Probably about the weight of two quarters as well. So I bought the uh, RC version kit because it's the smallest uh, transmitter, and the receiver is the same for both kits or the dog tracking kit. Um, there it is there. You could put three receivers on here, so if you have three different drones and don't want to change the uh, transmitter to each drone, you could put one on each and have just one uh, carry this around. It folds up pretty small, not too bad. Probably a little too big for your pocket, but uh, it's not bad at all. This thing's supposed to have a range of two miles, but I really doubt it's going to get anywhere near that. But I will test it out later. Alright, so I'm not sure how I'm going to mount this thing on the drone. I really don't want to mount it up top and have it interfere with the GPS of the drone or anything. As you can see, it might be kind of difficult to uh, mount it without the antenna getting in the way. So I wouldn't really suggest mounting it on top. I did think about maybe sticking a small piece of Velcro here and then another one here to each of my batteries and velcroing it on the side and somehow attaching this antenna to the top. Uh, the only problem with that is you'd have to take it off every time you switch batteries out which isn't a big deal. Could put it on the bottom but then without landing gear on here you don't want to be landing on it so unless you use something like this or extended uh, landing gear legs on the sides you really don't want to do that either. I did buy this, these landing gear legs off eBay as well, which is pretty cool. They just snap on and makes it sit up higher, which helps protect the gam camera if you land somewhere that's a little bit rugged. Uh, the only thing I don't like is, I mean, it's on pretty well, but it could possibly fall off. They're just plastic clips that clip over this little notch on the battery. But I was thinking maybe having that on there and attaching this to the bottom somehow. And then all I would have to do is uh, clip this on when I fly. And worst case scenario, if I lose this, hopefully I don't lose the drone as well, then I could just track and find this. But it should stay on pretty well. Okay, so this is what I figured out. I figured the best way to mount it would be up front here. That way you don't have to worry about taking the... Uh, transmitter off every time you change the battery so what I did was got some sticky back velcro and cut it to fit perfectly right here in front of the battery and then I took a coffee stirrer cut a little section off and taped it right here on the drone to hold the antenna down so that the uh, propellers don't hit the antenna so when I'm ready to fly, I just slide the antenna through the straw. Velcro it on right here. Turn it on and it'd be ready to go. You can see I put it through the straw that way there's no way that the antenna can hit the propellers and it's actually on you know pretty good I don't think I'd lose it I mean you really got to pry it to get it off
and I figured this was the best spot to mount it that way I didn't have to worry about if I wanted to palm launch it I didn't want to have to worry about having this with me all the time but if I do want to use the landing gear I could still use it no problem the propeller blade blade guards will still fit Now the only thing I have to do is modify this case. I also bought this case uh, on Amazon. Just got to modify the case a little bit. Cut a little section out here and it would fit perfectly without me having to remove and install it. Alright, so I got it all trimmed up. It only took me a few minutes. I just trimmed this out a little bit with a razor blade. Now I can leave my Marco Polo attached and it fits perfectly in there. And also I trimmed this out a little bit so I could put this protector on my joysticks just for a little extra protection. Really probably don't need it, but I already had it so why not. Alright, so I just had my wife go drive somewhere in the car and hide the uh, uh, transmitter. I'm actually standing inside my house and turned it on and within a minute or two it did pick up signal and it says it's 26% and this way. so. We're gonna we're gonna try to hurry up and find it before it gets dark here because it's gonna be dark soon and it's 12 degrees outside. So let's try this. Okay, so it is varying a lot between 50% and back to 30, and the arrows keep changing. Not quite as accurate as, accurate as I thought it would be. Change location. change location 47% this way now it's telling me this way See, it keeps telling me different ways ok 50% this way. So I'm walking towards the way it says to go. And the signal gets uh, lower. Now it's telling me to change location again. Okay, now it's telling me it's this way. So I go this way, which is that way. Eighty some percent, eighty four percent, ninety one percent. Now it's telling me this way. Ninety-nine percent. There it is. Now I'm 
want to see how far it is from the house, which is way, way over there beyond those trees. Okay, so I just GPSed it. It was about 0.3 miles away. Uh, I really don't see this thing going two miles because it was giving me the runaround at the beginning until I got probably within maybe three or four hundred feet and then it which was over over there beyond that stop sign and then it pointed me in the right direction which was over there uh, so not bad if you get in a general area I'm gonna drive a mile down the road and see if it'll pick up the receiver but my house is way over on the other side of all this stuff all right so I drove down the road and I'm gonna start tracking it and I'm gonna see how close I can get before it picks up signal okay so it did pick it up it says 27% to the left and that is actually where it's at and I'm down in this uh, back road trees hillside next to me um, and it's probably about maybe about the same about three uh, three tenths of a mile maybe maybe four tenths of a mile away so not too bad you could get roughly in the area if you were driving around 26% way across that field way on the other side of that field is where the road is that the tracking device is on okay so I'm getting good signal now 30 uh, about 32 percent and the tracker is actually about the crest of that hill up there sorry for, sorry that it's so shaky about where them headlights are